think we're live. It says that we are live. Awesome. All right. Let's just check a few things out here and see what we have. Awesome. So we're live on the encoding and we're waiting to be live. Give me just one second if you guys can see this. I'm not sure if you can. Live now? Ooh, okay. Let's see what it says. What have we got going on here? Oh, it says waiting. Okay. You are waiting. One waiting. <laughs> Are we live? I don't know. Marie, but I'm right here. Um, I think it's working. Oh, it is. It just takes it about two minutes to catch up, I think. Hi, you guys. Okay, so bear with me. This is my first time trying to live stream from a desktop computer. I normally do it from my cell phone. And it's immediate. I don't need an encoding software outside of my cell phone to do this. So it took it about two minutes of saying I was trying to be going live. But I, th I think we're caught up. But welcome. I'm going to shoot this link out to a few people. And we'll wait just about one minute and see who joins us. And we're going to talk about summer, which is my favorite topic because I'm a big fan of summer. Whew. And again, I'm reporting to you guys from Columbus, Ohio, where it is, I want to say it's like 85. Let's ask. Siri, what's the temperature? It's about 87 degrees outside. 87? Hot. Oh, thank you, Siri. Okay, let's see. I'm going to shoot this link out. And hi! You guys, let me know if you can hear me because I'm using an, uh, an external microphone. If you can hear me, let me know in the comments. Uh, let, just let me know. Yes, I can hear. No, I can't. Perfect. Awesome. If you can hear me, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you are here and live. And then we're going to get going. I'm just going to shoot this out on my Facebook page and say, hey, we're going live. Come hang out. Come say hello. How was your guys Sunday? And where in the world are you? Is it Sunday morning? Is it Sunday night? Let me know. I'm always interested to see what you guys are up to. Let's see. Let's shoot this on out. We are live at, at this address. Come see us now. Okay, let's see. Good. I am so glad. Mary Kate, you're at rehearsal. Shouldn't you be paying attention at rehearsal? Hmm. Okay, good. I am so glad. Yes, and we are good to go. Well, thank you guys so much for joining, and thank you to those who joined me yesterday in my very impromptu live stream that I did in my backyard because some things were just bothering me, and I said, you know what, let's just talk about it on the internet because that's a good idea. That's what everybody should do. I also put up a office tour yesterday, so if you want to see where I am streaming this video, 
Um, I've got a brand new desk and a brand new computer. You guys can check out my office tour. It went up yesterday as well. You can just check that out in the videos. But other than that, let me know in the comments how your day is going and I'll run to the comments in just a minute. But I wanted to talk to you guys about summer because personally I kind of treat summer almost like a New Year's. I write out things I want to do. I make a summer bucket list and I also like to do things that, you know, aren't super expensive. So I have a bucket list and I just try to be a little financially savvy in completing it. So I wanted to share with you some of the top things you can do this summer that are free. And just a disclaimer, none of these things are sponsored. I just have liked them all and wanted to recommend them to you guys. And also let me know if you guys have a summer bucket list, what's on it and what you like to do if you're trying to, you know, do things in a cost efficient way. And I did make a list sitting outside because that's what I do. The first thing I put on my list is an app and a website called Duolingo. It lets you learn a second or even third language completely free. Even if you know nothing about another language, like for me, I used it when I worked on ships to learn Spanish because the cruise ships I worked on primarily went to, you know, Mexico and South America. And I thought that knowing a little Spanish was good. You can make your own profile. It's free. They can assess where you are. If you took some Spanish in like grade school or college, you think, you know, a little bit, but just want to brush up, they can kind of figure out where you need to be. And I've tried Spanish, Italian, and French on Duolingo. And it reminds you every day in your email, like, did you put in your 10 minutes a day? That's all it is. Just 10 minutes a day. Let me know if you guys have done Duolingo in, you know, your history. I want to see if anybody else has ever done that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about are for those people that like to do road trips. I really like audiobooks and I enjoy them if I'm going to be on a long trip and if me and someone I'm riding with, you know, we can choose on one book to listen to. We can do fiction, nonfiction, self-help, all of the above. And it kind of makes your drive just a little bit smoother. You don't really worry too much about it. Oh, what did I have on here? Oh, if you guys checked out my St. Louis tour vlog, I think the video is called like travel with me. Um, I'll put it in the comments or the description when this video is done. You'll notice that my sister and I planned out some activities that were um, expensive and then ones that were free. I did not know that St. Louis's zoo, museums, like any metropolitan landmark in that area was free to anyone. So I put on my list for free things to do this summer. Definitely go to the park, check out free places you can go in your city. Like we went to the, the art museum completely free and had it not been 8 million degrees, we would have also gone to the zoo completely free. I think when I was a kid, my babysitter would always make us a calendar and we can fill out each day of the week and we all made activities of things we wanted to do that weren't super expensive and the park was on it a lot along with number four, which I put on this list as the library. I like to read books by the pool and I like to just have different kinds of CDs and things. Yes, I'm old school, I listen to CDs, but having the library card makes it really easy. I can just go in, pick out what I want, and now with the use of technology, if I wanna renew it, I don't have to go in. I can just log in on my library account and click renew and I get to keep it for I think another month. I am currently reading The Happiness Project because one of my unofficial mentors, Amy Schmittauer, who also lives here in Columbus, she recommended it in a few of her videos and I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. And I like it, but it was pretty good. Um, other things I have on this list that aren't in my top four are to use your own amenities or if you have connections to your family and friends. For example, my home or my condo is attached to a pool and a tennis court. So my fees to live here cover maintenance of a pool. So if my friends want to come swimming, we can just kind of set a day. So if you think to yourself, I want to go swimming, but I don't want to pay for a pool or like a country club, a country club pass, if I could speak, you could just, you know, make plans with your friend. And if they have guest privileges, you can go hang out with them and use their amenities. Let's see. Oh, I wrote having a picnic. I would not recommend a picnic if it's over 85 and super humid. By the way, this is what my hair does when it's super humid off topic. It's just huge. 
but there's a part of Columbus that I really like called the Scioto Mile. It looks over the river. And I've always wanted to take like a picnic lunch and just sit out on the grass with some sunglasses and just enjoy a picnic and look out on the water and enjoy summer. That's actually on my bucket list. If you live in Columbus, there's a chance you might see me doing that. And then my, the last thing I put on my list, and I'll read your comments in just a second. If you're just joining us, leave me a comment of what you like to do in the summer. If you have a summer bucket list or things you know anyone could do for free in the summer. The last thing I have is use social media to your advantage. Did you know if you go on Facebook, you can click events and if Facebook already knows where you live or where you're residing, it will let you know different events going on that are open to the public and then the events page will tell you if it's free or if it has a cover charge or any charge at all. But you can find a lot of different things like here in Columbus, they're doing the arts festival this weekend. So if you wanted to walk downtown and kind of just enjoy whatever's going on at the arts festival. I did not partake in this, so I cannot comment. Uh, you go down and check that out. Now, let me see where we are. Oh, we have some comments here. Good, good. Hello, Venezuela. Message retracted. Uh-oh. Did someone say something and get in trouble? I did not see. Have you tried podcasts? I have actually, but that's a really good good um, topic to bring up. I actually listen to podcasts every morning on my way to work. Um, I used to enjoy like radio talk shows, but I found that I like podcasts a lot. Um, let's see here. My brother's talking in Spanish. You guys should all go check out his channel. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Yes, I did like podcasts. Good, good. Yes, I see that you're speaking in Spanish even though you are not fluent in Spanish. Do um, you guys have any podcasts that you like personally? All right, podcasts that you like. Good. Awesome. Audio is on point. Oh, well, welcome from Venezuela. I don't think you need to study Spanish on Duolingo like I do. You'd probably find it humorous because it shows you like three pictures and it has you complete the sentence and you can match like the words with the pictures, which is really cool. It's actually how you learn your first primary language is through like pictures and words below it. So I thought it was a really a clever way to teach you a second language. Let's see, I think we're just gonna stay on. I wanted to make this under 15 minutes. I can't see how long we've been on. Do you guys see it if you're looking at this on a desktop? How do you see how long you have been live streaming. I guess I can just go off the start time. But I think I'll stay on for about... I'm sorry? Oh, thank you. That is correct. I just can't see it on the YouTube. Awesome. Oh, I can't leave comments on here yet. Well, anyway, you guys, I'm just going to be on here for another minute and a half. Let me know uh, what you guys are going to do for the rest of your day. I'm going to go outside for a little bit. But, let's see, thank you, that's so nice. Can I see it? Oh, okay. I'm just reading some of your guys' comments. Anyway, uh, let's finish this out. I will have, I think, three or four new videos coming out this week. Tomorrow is the Country Home Airbnb from when I went to Louisville last weekend. I wanted to share with you guys where myself and seven other girls resided in downtown Louisville in a country home. And then I have a Starbucks related video and I think maybe one other live stream later this week. I'll have to check on my calendar. Uh, work's been a little bit busy so I just have everything written down because I can't remember it all because that's the point we've gotten to. But anyway, thank you guys so much. If you like the Happiness Project, Oh, I didn't know Gretchen Rubin had a podcast. What's her, it's, is her podcast just called The Happiness Project? That's so cool. So what's her I do like her. I like her book a lot. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, I'm clicking over here to see what you're talking about. Okay. Yes, so, oh, I press buttons. 
Monday Airbnb tour, Tuesday live stream, Wednesday Starbucks, and then videos coming out on Friday and Saturday. So it's a big week of videos. Some of these I've already even finished and are scheduled in the queue. It's called Happier. Oh, thank you. I will definitely download that. I listen to the Life Coach podcast with Brooke Castillo in the morning because I just find that she is just really motivating and has a positive, I don't want to say hold, but she, her mentality is really positive. So I already don't like mornings and I already hate Mondays. So I figure if she can distract me from the fact that it's Monday in a morning and I'm going into the office for the next five days in a row, then I like her. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me here. All right. Thank you. Let me know once this video is closed out if you have anything you'd like to add for free things people can do in the summer other than like going to their parks, Duolingo, which again is a fantastic app. Again, not sponsored by them. They're just fabulous. Your library or any other free metropolitan location in your city. You, hear my, you guys hear my kitten? She wants attention. I'm going to go play with her. She's probably mad because it's hot outside. I might take her out for a little bit. You guys have a great Sunday and then let me know in the comments once this video closes any other ideas that you would have for things to do this summer that are free. Now let's see if I can stop.